Okay, guys, Ramp Roller. Um, this is an unboxing video of my new motorcycle helmet. Okay, I bought a Bell motorcycle helmet. Here it is. All right, it's a motorcycle helmet I bought here. I bought it from uh, supplier Dennis Kirk that I just recently did a video about, uh, about Dennis Kirk and uh, Revzilla and Rurock helmets. But uh, this is an unboxing video. And uh, this bell box came inside this box here. Okay, um, I'm a little disappointed with one thing before I officially unbox this bell helmet. I'm a little disappointed that there was no packing foam in here or anything like that because I know how things can get tossed around in a in a U-Haul, not U-Haul, in a FedEx or UPS uh, warehouse, and I know how things can get thrown around in the trucks because I used to work for FedEx, okay? So I know all about their sloppiness and how they toss products around and products get bought back and they're on dirty warehouse floors. Um, so I was a little disappointed that this didn't come with uh, any packing foam just in case the helmet got thrown around. Now I know a helmet is made to take abuse, but uh, as you can see here on the edge, there's a little indentation there. Right, so that means that I don't know if that was done in the Dennis Kirk warehouse or if it got thrown around and there was a dent. Well, obviously, here is a little dent here, so I don't know if that corresponds to that. Okay, but anyway, let's open this bad boy up. This is the Bell Revolver Evo Rally Matte Black Motorcycle Helmet. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we got a helmet bag. Let's take it out. All right, something to carry the helmet in. A little bell helmet bag. Now let's open this up. I've got to. I've got to uh, untie this. Give me one second, folks. But yeah, I'm funny about um, the shipping practices of companies because of how things get thrown around in these warehouses by these different uh, parcel companies. Because I experienced it firsthand working for them. Now, I tried to treat everybody's product with care because I would want the same done for me. Okay, now, let's make sure we turn right side up. Okay, now. Now let's pull this uh, helmet bag off. Sorry for the moments of darkness, folks, but I'm doing this by myself with a cell phone, okay? All right, it comes with this little bam. It is. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. Sorry, folks. My table's a little messy. Forgive me for that, for a little background mess. But there she blows, folks. Isn't that pretty? Woo-wee. Let's spin her around there. Try not to drop it off the table in the process. Woo-wee. Am I going to Mars? I said, am I going to Mars? Am I going to Jupiter? Where are we going? To the moon? God damn it, did I join NASA? That's a goddamn good looking helmet there, boy. That's a big helmet too, man. So y'all know how big my head is. Maybe it, they even sent, made a mistake and sent the extra, 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 extra large. Oh boy. They said you got a head like a watermelon, boy. But yeah, dig it, man. And I got another unboxing to do on another video. I'll split it up. I bought a, a tinted face shield to go with this. This comes with a standard uh, clear face shield. You can see it's clear after I rip off this bell. Uh, informational sticker here. But yeah, man. Check it out. You can go on a website, Bell website or 
Dennis Kirk website, and check out all the official details. This is an XL helmet for y'all to want to know. You have to measure your head with a soft tape measure, uh, a, a clothing tape measure, like that you would use to uh, measure your thighs and your hips, like if you were sizing yourself for a dress or a suit. And you have to measure your head around, okay? And use the and, and get a centimeter measurement. All right, but that's all I got for this unboxing of the new Bell motorcycle helmet from Dennis Kirk. My only complaint from Dennis Kirk is that you didn't put any uh, packing foam in your box, knowing how things get tossed around in these FedEx and UPS warehouses and how they get tossed around and fall around inside the trucks, especially FedEx is cheap ass where they use uh, rental trucks with no shelves, just a straight box truck, and the driver has to go back there and organize everything like a damn jigsaw puzzle, and the packages end up flying all around the da goddamn truck. All right, so, yeah, next time, Dennis Kirk, put some packing foam in there. All right, rent roller out. Until next time, guys.